Hi, this is David Wicks, Director of Instructional Technology at Seattle Pacific University. And in this screencast, I want to talk to you about two possible issues you may be running into with uh, Blackboard 9.1. The first is when you're posting an announcement, uh, you may be receiving an error message that you're unfamiliar with. Uh, and the second is has to do with the availability of your course. You may have maybe thinking that you've done everything you know to do to make your course available to students and they're still not able to see it. And that second one may have something to do with a course copy that if you copied the course forward, uh, there may be a setting issue there. And so we'll talk about that. First one, if we have an announcement, um, we want to make an announcement in our course. In the past, you just clicked Create Announcement, typed in the subject, typed in the message, and we encouraged you in the past, since they'd moved the Submit button to the top, that you just click the Submit button and you're ready to go. Well, in this case, you're receiving an error message telling you that you must choose a Display After or Display Until Value. Well, what's changed is in the past, um, this was by default, this display after was by default checked. Now with that unchecked, um, you're getting the message. So if you just quickly check that button and then submit, uh, your message will appear. Uh, so displaying after will keep the message up there um, for you throughout the, the term. Uh, should solve that problem. Uh, the second issue has to do with the course availability and under customization you will see properties and if you click that link typically you just checked yes and the course is available. However if you did a course copy and in your course copy you check the settings button one of the things it's doing now is pulling over the duration of the course and so you can see here I've got a problem because even if this course uh, was supposed to run um, fall quarter, it when I did the course copy, it took a long, it took with it the the start date of um, when the course was created in Banner and when it is supposed to end. And so it's ending before it starts, so there's no way this will become available to students. So you can quickly uh, fix that by um, coming down to the end date and just changing that. So uh, uh, instead of being August, I can uh, move it forward uh, to being uh, a date at the end of December and then submitting that. Now your students, if you make that course available, your students will be able to see it throughout the quarter. If you have other issues that you're facing with Blackboard 9.1, please contact me. My email address is dwix at spu.edu, or you can find me on Twitter at dwixspu. Thank you.